a little color can go a long way to adding focus and emphasis. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Using the rich text formula field and a little bit of code, we can easily add color to either the text itself or the background behind the text. For this demonstration, I've set up a QuickBase with a table of all the colors of the Legos. Pretty fun, right? Well, what I want to do is display instead of the RGB code you see here, I want to display the actual color. So that way I can visualize each of these colors very easily. To do that, we're going to need to set up a new field. So I'll jump into the settings and add a new field. I'm just going to call it color and I'll select a rich text formula field. We'll go into the formula. We'll create the formula that'll take that RGB code, or it's also referred to as a hex code, and convert that into text that has that same color. To start, I'll need to include a double quotation. This indicates a text string. So the code that we're going to enter starts with the span tag meaning that everything within this span of text is going to be formatted in a specific way. Within this span, we need to define the style and set that equal to the different elements that we want to style. In this case, we want to just style the color. So I'll include a single quotation, the word color, followed by a colon, and then I'll need to enter a pound sign followed by my hex code or my RGB code. In this case, I want to reference another field. So I'll need to append or join this to that field. That was my RGB code. I'll append this to the rest of my style element, which just requires a single quotation for me to close it out and then the end or right angle bracket, the end of that span tag. And now I can include whatever the label is that I want to have for this text. The text will be colored, but I need to include what text will actually be colored. I'm gonna use our color name. So I'll join that to the color name, and then I'll need to close out my span. So I just need to join this now to another string of text that includes a left angle bracket, a forward slash, the word span, and a right angle bracket. That's our closing tag for the span element. With all these items set, I can now click save. And exit back to our report. All right, now you can see we've got all of our colors indicated here with the color name now actually in the color that it's specifying. Now, some you don't quite see because, well, you got white on white, but otherwise it's much more visual to see it this way. Now, let's instead flip this and change it to the background color being the color. So I'll go back into that code. Now I can update color here to now be background and click save. And now the background is the color. A really cool way to see color stand out on your reports as well as on your forms. Let's go back into that formula for a minute. Now you don't have to just use color codes that are already here and you don't have to just color everything. So for example, if I wanted to include some text that wasn't colored and say I wanted instead of the color name here, I want to just include the color itself. So I'm going to take out this bit here, and just do a bunch of underscores and click save. And now you can see I've got a bit of text that has no formatting whatsoever, followed by a block of color that indicates the color. Let's go back into the text one more time. You can also use multiple spans within the same formula. I'll just copy this. We'll add it in here at the beginning. And let's make this color. I'm 
going to make this the quick base junky pink. Okay, so what we should have here is the color name in the quick base junky pink, followed by some unformatted text that says, has this color, followed by a span of text that's just the underscore colored with the hex code of the record. Click save. And there you have it. You have that first bit of text that is all colored one color, the quick base junky pink, followed by unformatted text, followed by background text colored according to the hex code on the record. Two different ways to add a lot of impact to your quick bases using both colored text and background colors, leveraging that rich text formula field. I hope you enjoy. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.